Hello everyone, my name is John Hammond and welcome back to another video showcasing more of the All Army Cyber Stakes or ACI CTF. So let's dive in. Uh, I want to be finishing up some of the harder, more difficult challenges. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my solid filter and I want to take a look at the sharing is caring challenge. Uh, the time recording, it has about 250 points worth and 147 people have solved it. It's Friday, uh, competition ends on Sunday, so they might get a few more solves in. It says, hey challenger. I know you're putting together that Veterans Day presentation. Here's all the U.S. service seals straight from Wikipedia. I think you'll only need four of them to get the points across. More than that is just excessive, but it's up to you. So we're given a file to download, and I will hop into our directory to work with some of the stuff. I'll make their sharing is caring. Let's hop over there, and let's W get that file down. Okay. So while that's downloading, I am transparent about, hey, I'm, ch I'm going to check the hints. I want to know what this challenge is really getting at. Um, it, it helps our learning. It helps my learning. I hope it helps your learning. I don't think there's any shame in taking hints when that's all, what it's all about. It's all about education and all that. So research split scheme, split secret schemes. Four out of the five secrets are required. Okay. So uh, before we go down the rabbit hole of researching and learning, uh, let me go ahead and actually unzip this. So tar xzf, and it looks like we have images here. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five images, um, and we can take a look at what these are. Department of the Air Force, part of the Army, nice. Coast Guard, yeah. Ura, <laughs> and Navy. And Marine Corps. Okay, cool. So all the service SEALs that they mentioned. No Space Force. What the heck? Come on. Where's Space Force in here? So let's do some regular uh, file reconnaissance. If I just run strings in the first image, I see this weird guy. This one long line, one, and then a bunch of numbers. So I'll take that, I think. Let's actually make some notes. Let me subble a little readme file just above here. And I'll grab that first secret or whatever that is and put it in there. We can do the same on two. Uh, but I don't see anything extremely interesting in that right off the bat. So let's try it on three. That has the third one in here. Okay. Steal that just as well. And let's do it for also four. Still nothing. All right, how about five? Looks like five has it as well. Okay, so we're missing two and four. We can do some more file reconnaissance. I'll just run exif tool on two. Okay, it looks like it sees it there in the artist metadata tab. So let me steal that, slap that in. I'll make some new lines here. And let's try that also on four. Looks like that works, okay. He's also in the artist section there. Okay, so we have all these secrets. We have five of them. It says we only need four, interestingly enough, but what do I do with these? What actually is split secret schemes? So if I Google this, schemes, what is secret splitting? Some information on Wikipedia, Shamir secret sharing, Secret splitting, also called secret sharing, enables you to split a secret across into different shares and give the share in custody of multiple persons without disclosing the secret itself. Okay. That's the idea. Sounds a little bit more like crypto than to me than, than forensics, but... Oh, okay, they do a little implementation side here. Random key is subtracted digit by digit without carry from the number combination this guy oh computer data they're using XOR hmm secret sharing also called secret splitting refers to a method for distributing a secret among a group of participants each of whom is allocated a share of the secret secret can be reconstructed when only a sufficient number or possibly different types of shares are combined together individual shares are of no use on their own well, we have all the shares. We have all the pieces of this thing. Secure versus insecure secret sharing. Oh, that's probably interesting. Secure secret sharing scheme. Oh, 
lots of S's, distribute shares so that anyone with fewer than T shares has no more information about the secret than someone with zero shares. Consider for the password, consider for example the secret sharing scheme in which the secret phrase password is divided into shares P A S S W O R D. Huh. Okay. Well, we have all the shares, so what do we do with this? Shamir's secret sharing? Shamir secret sharing is an algorithm in cryptography. Yeah. Is that what we need? Shamir's. Uh, is there anything that does that? Shamir's secret sharing. SSS. Is that a tool? How do I learn that? Let's look for GitHub. SSS, Shamir secret sharing, secret sharing, Shamir, a Java implementation of it. Is that, what is that? Oh, that's like a whole library. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Also secret sharing doing the same thing. Maybe just secret sharing github block stock secret sharing is that the one that i was just in oh no okay that's a that's a little python library oh it looks like they use the same sort of thing that we use from secret sharing import plain text hex secret sharer what else is there Well, if we have the Python library, maybe that will behave. Library for sharding and sharing secrets. Okay, it just needs pip. So let's try that. Pip install secret sharing. Um, okay, I've got it. Does it work? I don't know if it's Python 2 or Python 3. Not gonna lie. PyPy v2. Well, we can try it. They use secret sharer. And those are hex, but our numbers are in like decimal. They're like straight integers. Base 64, base 32. Raw integers. Okay, splitting into shares. From secret sharing, import secret insta point. Well, can I run that just on its own? Can I, let's move out of here. Let's do a subble um, ape.py. Let's grab all of these in here. Let's create a sh little shebang line and I'll shrink this down so it's at least sane to read. Uh, I'm gonna remove these new lines so I can make each of these a list element. There we go. Uh, I just use control shift and control shift L to make multiple cursors. And then I align them with the home key or the end key. And then I can modify as I need to on across multiple lines. So I like that a lot in sublime text. Okay, let's try and import secret sharing. And they use secret int to points to go ahead and make the share. And they use points to secret int to get recover the secret. So from secret sharing import points to secret int. It looks like their original secret, okay, and they, they're using L here, so that makes me think it's Python 2. We're gonna have to use Python 2, I guess. We'll try it, we'll try it in three, but we'll see what it does. Even if I even run that, will that work? Python 3 ape. Nope. It winds about the long data type. So that's totally a Python 2 gimmick. Fine, fine. We'll just use Python 2. Their syntax is they have a secret and they use secret into point and that returns a list of tuples of all of the secrets as their integers in their long form, the L. So what I'll do is I'll do for uh, I and S in oh, we should make this actually a shares list here and then let's 
expand that a bit. For is in enumerate of shares, we will have a uh, their version list name, I guess. So their version will append in a tuple of index plus one, because it's gonna be, it's gonna count zero based, but I want it in numbers one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and we will grab the integer form of S. So that's the actual share value, but I wanna carve out the one hyphen, two hyphen, et cetera. So I'll, I'll slice from two forward. And now let's verify that our little their version variable We'll have to run it with Python 2 as usual because that module isn't working in that Python 3 mode. Okay, now we have the correct data points that we want and it looks like we can just give those to that points to secret int uh, function here. So let's say uh, secret equals points to secret int on their version and let's print out our secret. What do we have here? whatever that is. Okay, let's try and convert that. Uh, I, I like this really trick, this nice convenience thing from crypto util number. It has a bytes to long and a long to bytes. So if you have a like long integer or just an integer or a number to begin with, you can convert it into what would be its ASCII representation or in the bytes. So let's use long to bytes on that. So I will be able to long to bytes secret and that should roll right through it. Awesome, cool. Okay, so I hadn't heard of Shamir secret sharing before. Um, maybe it's just kind of known to have that prefix of one hyphen and the data and then cut it up into different slices or, or slivers of the secret or different shares, right? But that's that, that is that challenge. Uh, not that hard, I guess kind of once you identify it and know what to do with it with some of the tools. But the fact that Python can do it is pretty slick. We should see what we can do to get this module converted to Python 3. Because <laughs> I know Python 2 is dead and the internet gets really angry at me when I use Python 2. So here we go. That's that challenge. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press that like button, leave a comment. I'd love it. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the bell, do the things that the YouTube algorithm needs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd love to see you guys on Patreon if you're willing to help support and donate. Thank you so much. I cannot say that enough. PayPal if you just like a one-time thing, link in the description. Also, I'd love to see you in the Discord server, link in the description. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I don't know. It just, it'd be great to see you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. All right. Hope to do more of these coming at you. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.